Hey everyone, Brian with wrenchesandrides.com and today we're going to take a look at Milwaukee Tools new M18 Fuel Compact Bandsaw. This is model number 2829-20, also available in a kit in the Dash 22, which will come with two high output CP 3.0 amp hour batteries, which is plenty enough power to run this dude all day long on the job site and or wherever you're working inside your shop. Now this tool is going to be perfect for electricians and plumbers and Milwaukee's kind of setting you up that way with an optional reamer attachment for conduit that's going to go on the drive wheel. So you're going to be able to cut and ream with this same tool. Now this is 20% lighter than Milwaukee's last go around on the compact, which was model number 2629-20, I believe. It is easier to work with overhead and you can get this model in a single switch with a safety that's going to be similar to many other tools, or you can get it with a dual switch where you'd have to pull the rear trigger and a trigger on the forward holds also. So multiple ways to get it, depending on what is the best use for you. At this point, let's come in, take a good look at this tool, look at what's changed and how it works. So Milwaukee might have made this tool perfect for electricians and plumbers. I think it's gonna be great for anyone who's into bandsaws. This is the M12 model, which is a subcompact, almost too small in a lot of situations for the average guy. And this is the model 27-29, which is their deep cut, which in a way is almost too large for many people. This is going to be the perfect saw with a three and a quarter by three and a quarter cut capacity. Now the blade on here is going to be an eight to 10 tooth extreme metal cutting blade that's going to come with either the bare tool or the kit. It is a 35 and three eighths by half inch by 0 0.020 blade. You're gonna see some cuts in here where this saw is kind of bouncing a little bit. And I have the weld on this blade showing and the teeth here are incredibly messed up. This was a very poor weld on this blade. Let's see if we can bring it in. It just makes the saw skip, it makes it catch, and it's unfortunate. So now that's the blade that came with the saw. It's going to be what it's going to be on that. I'm definitely going to invest in a different blade. There are multiples out there and I'll try to put some links into the description. One thing that's changed on this model is that there is now a safety here instead of a lockout. So to get it to work, you push the safety in and pull the trigger. You do have a nice variable speed trigger, LED light. And the other thing that's changed is you do have a material guide that is easily adjusted by just pushing in this one catch and it's got three positions. That works awesome. Changing the blade is simple. You have a one lever tool free tensioner knob. Works great. It's easy to get the blade in and out. The drive wheels are perfect. As far as moving where anything is going to ride, uh, there are some small adjustments that I can see, but there is no single screw that is going to change the place of the ride on the wheels. There's a brush to keep debris off the drive wheel so you don't get that into the blade and start taking the rubber away. And the one thing to look at here, this is one of the the first things that I've seen Milwaukee call this job site armor technology in which they actually put in some crush stones here to allow this tool to be dropped, beaten a little bit and still survive and last a long time on the job site. Very nice looking tool, built well, everything seems to be in place. It does have a, a hanger if you're going to use this up in the rafters. Simply for a bandsaw, it's designed like a bandsaw. It works great. You do have a brushless motor and these CP 3.0 amp hour batteries are going to give you all the power that you need. As a guy who is not an electrician and not a plumber, I view this as the perfect size bandsaw for automotive and shop use. It's small enough that I can get it up inside an area with a car, cut an exhaust, or use it to cut just about any other material, including tubing away from my project area and not have sparks throwing everywhere. It's just a nice, clean, fast, straight cut. 
The blade that comes with this is excellent for cutting extreme metals or thick metals. It's just uh, a matter of what you're gonna cut and what tooth blade you wanna put on this unit. And like I said, it's unfortunate that this one came with a pretty bad blade, but with that said, it still did cut very well. It just gave us that little bounce every once in a while and probably did slow down the cutting slightly. I think Milwaukee nailed it here. It's got the same feel as their deep cut bandsaw. Not much has changed from there. They just made it a little bit more compact. Weighs in at 7.7 .7 pounds, so it's not too hard to use over your head. It will cut an immense amount of different materials with ease. Obviously, you might want to change the blade a little bit if you're cutting a lot of PVC as we just started tearing through some of it. I mean, it cut super fast, but if you wanted to get a nice, super clean cut, this might not be the blade, obviously. The sizing of it, I, I think I've said it a hundred times, I think this M12 is perfect for small situations, getting in tight areas, but the cut capacity can limit the tool. This deep cut is awesome to have around and used 99% of the time, but that sucker's big. This dude is absolutely perfect in size, and I think you're gonna see that when you pick it up. I like the fact that I can get two CP3 batteries with it. I do not have a lot of these batteries around, but they're all the power I need for 99% of the tools, including drills. Nice, small, compact, and light. I can't say enough good about this. I love these things. If you're cutting EMT or anything like that, it's just going to run right through it. You've used these in the past, I'm sure. This is the perfect size and the right time to get into this line if you're looking. I'll leave some more links in the description below just to kind of give you ideas of what different blades are out there, what might be available. And this tool is out at this point in time, so I'll try to find some links to this tool, give you some ideas on pricing as that's obviously going to adjust a little bit as this tool gets a little bit older. Very nice setup. Great job, Milwaukee. As always, guys, we appreciate your time. Would always appreciate a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do. Have a great day.